<laughs> I am Susie Self. And I am Aunt the Decker. Great. Tell us the story. Well, I'm not sure what the story is. How about a date? The beginning of Earth a Onion. The beginning of Earth Onion. Well, we, had, we rehearsed a lot. The first performance was right... Um, on the first performance, my baby daughter was on my back. And that was... She was born December 4th, 1970, and she was not two weeks old. And it was the, the NFL celebration at All Souls Church. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I remember there was a lot of milk. <laughs> that's, that's what I... That's not a good memory. Um, God, what do I remember about Earth Onion? Do you remember Zafra being on my back? I, mean, I, I do remember Zafra being on your back. Um, it's so funny. I remember rehearsals at Wyoming Avenue. Rehearsals in... Was it Georgetown where um, Kathy Hadid lived? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was it Hadid? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I remember that we, we had fun. We just really had fun in rehearsals. Um, what was the play? The play was around. I, it was around. It was an NFL celebration. Um, What's an NFL? NLF, you mean? NLF. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. NLF celebration, and I mean, I was really and really, I had. I mean, my baby was only two weeks old, if that. So she was very tiny. <laughs> And I thought it was neat because NLF women had babies on their backs when they did things. So I really don't remember. It must have been something positive about NLF. I don't know. That I you mean this Vietnam National Liberation yeah. Front? The yeah. National Liberation Front, right? Because it would have been an anti-war crowd and a feminist mm -hmm. crowd who would have right. come to it. I mean, and it was always improv. We'd start a rehearsal with an idea and go through these um, uh, improv exercises and, until we came up with a story. Um, but we must not Of course, we can't remember the story. No, we must not have had much for that. I don't know. I really don't know. I, don't, I mean, the more significant thing for me was that morning I found out that the father of the baby had another baby coming in four months, and so... This is a great place to end it. Here is Norma and Bobby waiting to come and be interviewed about Off Our Backs. How long, just before you finish, how long did Earth Onion last? Oh, it lasted... I don't know. I quit before it ended, and I quit in 73, so... So, my... Theater tradition was that my step grandmother was a snake charmer in a medicine show. At my step grandfather and she traveled all around the American West with this medicine show. And my stepfather could tap dance, and my uncle Joe was a Hawaiian dancer. So I really love ukulele music and tap yeah. dancing and telling corny jokes. And I loved improv, but I, I, Never, I just never felt that I was avant-garde enough for <laughs> So at a certain point, I left years before Susie left. Um, but I, Which but I still, I loved my, I loved my time in Off Our Backs, and I still have my tie-dye T-shirt. I wish I'd thought to bring it tonight that we all uh -huh. wore. Earth onion. Earth, Earth onion. Earth onion. Off, off Our Backs. <laughs> oh. oh God. Yes, <laughs> so, where did Earth Onion perform? Oh, we performed, we really, we toured the country, we performed down south from military base, we took a tour with a mail truck and a little Nash convertible that was mine, and the Nash was really uncomfortable to sleep in, the mail truck was pretty bad, we would have one head here, one head here, one head here, we had two babies in the mail truck. And we, um, so we did Vermont, we did down south, we performed around the city, we performed for conferences and things like that, people, we had, we had a play called Woman Potion 
that lasted pretty long. And I think maybe somewhere I have, I do have, um, Manuscript? No, no manuscripts. But I have a documentary that Lynn Ditchfield made of us. Of, so oh, I could probably we would that. love to have that. I would love to give that. So I have that. And it's really pretty interesting. Wait, I do have another funny story to tell. What, Susie swears we never did this, but we did. There was <laughs> one event where we would have the, where we had the audience throw out ideas. Mm, so that. it was my turn and the idea that came out was be a watermelon. And I had the worst case of flop sweat in the history of any kind of theater. I had no idea how to be a watermelon. I was totally paralyzed. I was on my back on the floor hoping to die. <laughs> and Charlotte Bunch came out of the audience, came running down the aisle and started nibbling at my stomach. And I'm like, to this day, I will always be grateful. <laughs> she made I, you into a watermelon. That I was saved from, from that, yeah, that, that moment. Makes sense. I don't dispute that at all. Oh, no, no, when I told you, you said, oh, we never did that. We never had the audience. Oh, no, things. we did. Oh, well, we, you must have misunderstood what I meant. Because I, anyway. <laughs> we,